pretty remarkable. It's a senior intelligence official for the first time laying out some of the details of the information and the, uh, 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 the collection of items that was uh, seized uh, after the killing of Osama bin Laden less, less than a week ago. And uh, inside this Pentagon briefing room, they showed five different videos that they insist are uh, further proof that this was Osama bin Laden and that these materials were uh, things that could only have been found in the Osama bin Laden compound. This so one videos discovered in the compound, we're not talking about intelligence video of, of, of um, observations of Osama bin Laden at the compound. That's correct. These are, these are uh, 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 videos that they say belong to Osama bin Laden. And there's one really remarkable video uh, showing Osama bin Laden uh, wearing a, uh, what looks like a wool cap with a blanket draped around his shoulders, holding a TV clicker, uh, rocking backward and forward slightly in his chair. And it uh, uh, looks like it's a satellite uh, 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 selection on the screen, a selection of satellite channels. And he clicks through them and watches various videos that are so familiar uh, to all of us over the past nine and a half years of himself, Osama bin Laden watching himself on, on, uh, on TV. And you can see his um, uh, uh, beard is gray, and again, he's, he's uh, uh, draped with the blanket and, and kind of rocking forward in his, his chair. And uh, it, it looks like, like an, uh, an amazing home video and insight to, to how he lived and what he mm. did. And the other, four, uh, the other four videos, one is a message to the United States that they think was made in October, November last year. They didn't play the audio. They said it would be inappropriate. But in, in in that video, you see him um, uh, uh, made up, his, his uh, beard has been dyed black, etc. And then the other videos, the other three are, are kind of practice sessions for uh, videos that he apparently uh, was planning on releasing to the world. So interesting. These videos were released during this Pentagon briefing. You got a chance to see them. Everyone in the room, reporters, producers, uh, writers, etc., uh, got to watch these videotapes. Does that also mean that the Pentagon is willing to release these uh, video samples, these five videos, uh, to media outlets that can be broadcast. Correct. That, that's the plan. The, uh, uh, I just slipped out of the briefing. It's still going on. They're asking this senior intelligence official who's providing this background information for additional questions about, about the raid, about this cache of, uh, uh, of intelligence that, that he described as the most significant amount of intelligence uh, collection ever from a senior uh, uh, terrorist. Obviously, they're they're pumping up the value of this. They say a special task force has been formed to uh, uh, to triage it to find out what's the most important, so they can take quick action. And he rattled off a a, a, a collection of uh, of uh, uh, agencies: CIA, DHS, FBI, uh, uh, National Terrorism Center, etc. That are all working together to comb through this material and answer your question. Yes, they are going to release these videos at the end of this briefing in the next uh, half hour or so. Was it explained, uh, you know, the, the real strategy here of why to release this video? Is this uh, to show the world that uh, this is the closest thing we can show you to the guy that we just targeted, the man that we just killed, is indeed that of Osama bin Laden? This is his cash? Or does it have more to do with trying to intimidate or weaken the Al-Qaeda network as a result of the leader of that network being killed? I think there, there, there are a variety of things going on. I think that they want to, to uh, 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 rattle the uh, situation of other senior uh, uh, al-Qaeda leaders and say, we have information, uh, we're taking action uh, uh, on it. They want to uh, say to the world, uh, this was unquestionably Osama bin Laden. Not only do we have all these materials, but they gave new details of how they uh, uh, identified him uh, using fa facial recognition uh, 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 procedures and, uh, and DNA. And then he had uh, uh, one, one amazing statistic. He said that the DNA is, is unquestionably him. Uh, the chance of a mistake is one in 11.8 quadrillion just infinitesimally small. Mm -hmm. So this, this, this briefing obviously uh, uh, not only in an effort to satisfy the enormous um, hunger for details about the raid and the aftermath, but also to uh, uh, say, yes, this was Osama bin Laden, and yes, uh, this treasure trove of intelligence is being acted on quickly. And what more were they were able to reveal or willing to reveal on the DNA? The, the, the DNA tests on Osama bin Laden proved that it was unquestionably him. 
It had also been mentioned earlier in the week uh, from the White House and from Department of Defense that there were other family members, direct family members of Osama bin Laden, where DNA matches were also involved. Did they reveal any more about that during this briefing? Not, not, not the time that I was there. There may be more that came out in the in, in the questions. I'm going to go back in in a, in a, in a second, and uh, uh, there are uh, there is the opportunity for reporters to uh, uh, drill down on 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 that issue of DNA identity, these videos, etc. All right, all right. Uh, thanks so much. We're going to check back with you, uh, Charlie. Appreciate that.